This has got to be one of my favorite recipes. Apart from it being simple and easy to make, I love prawns and I love anything that's spicy. So this dish has been inspired by my dad. This is his recipe. So I don't want to take any credit for it. It is a simple, wonderful recipe to use. If you love prawns, you're going to love this recipe. If you're going to need some decent sized prawns, I've got these some willies. They've already been de veined and cleaned because I really suck at that. But you can find clean prawns pretty much anywhere and so you're gonna give that a nice wash up and then you're gonna need to boil some flavor with your marinade so you're gonna use a lemon I went in with half a lemon if you are using um, more prawns this is obviously a recipe for two ten decent sized prawns if you're using an entire box or obviously more you can use more lemon but I went in with a good squeeze a thorough squeeze with the seeds and all and then to boil some depth of flavor with regards to heat I went in with some chili flakes. I personally prefer using the smoked chili flakes and I also use the zest from the same lemon that we got the juice from. So just extra flavor and then obviously this is prawns so you want to go in with amazing garlic flavors. So I went in with uh, some garlic and then where my lemon sat there was excess juice so I just added that in. Now you're going to season with some pepper i don't do the seasoning uh, with salt at this particular point i do it when i'm cooking and that's basically most of your marinade done the next part is the sauce so based on the heat level i prefer this recipe has been trialed and tested with a lot of peri peri sauces but i prefer the nando's peri peri sauce you can use whatever peri peri sauce you have in your fridge and this particular bottle i went in with about a third of the bottle as I said, if you're using a, an entire box, like a 2 kilo, you can use an entire bottle of the sauce. And then you want to give that a good mix up, okay? Uh, it might look intimidating because I like spicy food, but I don't like something that's literally going to be unedible. Once you add in your cream, you're going to have a lovely creamy sauce. And mind you, if you use a Nando sauce, it's not going to taste like eating Nando's peri peri prawns it actually gives it a completely different flavor you'll actually be quite amazed so add in your prawns to this wonderful marinade and when you're adding it in make sure that you're not just also going to toss it you know from side to side you're also going to go in with the marinade in in the center of the prawns so like around the shells inside you want to be able to make sure that this is really nicely coated and really nicely marinated as well. Once you're done with the marinade, it's quite simple. You want to let this rest in the fridge. So you want to give it a quick wrap up with some cling. And I actually let it marinate overnight. I think that's the best. You're going to get the best flavors from it. But a good three to four hours if you are going to make this dish for family, for friends, even if you uh you know want to prepare ahead of time. It's a it's a really a wonderful dish to prepare the night before, pop it in the fridge and it takes about 10 minutes to make. So I added this in the fridge to sit for a good 24 hours. Add in some good quality olive oil and then you also want to add some good quality butter so I just added a knob of butter as well to the oil and then I also decided to add in some extra garlic so this is optional personally I love garlic I love anything 
to do with garlic with pastas with seafoods it's just amazing it just takes the flavor to you know another level and so I added in half a tablespoon of garlic and I made sure that everything was really nicely incorporated Once you have a pan that's nicely heated, you can go in with your prawns. Now here's a few tips to know that your prawns are actually cooked. The last thing that you want is making a beautiful dish and having your prawns be undercooked or have your prawns be rubbery, overcooked. So based on the color of your prawns, you'll know that your prawns are cooked when it's a nice blush pink color. Alternatively, you'll know that your prawns are cooked when they actually curl up. So you'll actually see that You will find that when making this dish you'll have leftover marinade. This is key to having an extra creamy sauce so make sure you throw that in as well and then you just basically want to let that steam for a few minutes so you'll start to see that it's actually starting to bubble and that's your cue to see that you can start turning. As you can see the prawns are starting to curl up and so they're also starting to change color. They were a nice translucent gray color and now they're turning into that beautiful blush pink color so you'll give that a quick toss and you'll be cooking these prawns on a medium heat because we don't want them to overcook as well and so you'll start to see that the sauce is starting to thicken up as well and so that's going to be the lovely base of your sauce so this is a very quick process once you're done you can add on the lid and you can allow it to cook for another one to two minutes um, and just allow the steam to circulate so that you're making sure that you're getting firm prawns that are beautiful and just basically melt in your mouth. So after a minute or so, you want to give it a nice mix up, you'll start to notice that your sauce is starting to, to thicken and so like I did mention, this is the base of your sauce. So th these prawns are almost done. Uh, so what I want to also do is just give it a quick taste because we have not seasoned our prawns as yet so make sure you do do that. And you'll notice that it is very very spicy. You can tone down this level of spice as well. And so I also love cooking with fresh herbs, so I also went in with some fresh coriander. This is whilst I'm cooking and I'll also garnish as well with coriander as well. So at this particular point, this is where you'll be able to adjust the level of how spicy you want your prawns to be. So I went in with a third of a container of fresh cream and I just gave that a mix up. You can go in with the full container as well uh, but as you can see there's a generous portion of prawns with lots of sauce as well so based on your heat levels you can add in if you want a more milder dish if you want a less milder dish just go in with um with less So after cooking the prawns with the cream and allowing it to settle for at least a minute or so, your dish is practically done. Here you have it. You can top this beautiful dish off with additional coriander. This has got to be one of the tastiest dishes I personally feel I have the honor of having on my channel. Um, if you love spice, be sure to check out my spicy livers as well. But yeah, here you go guys, a peri-peri take on creamy prawns. Um, you can certainly thank me later. Do enjoy and I promise you this is definitely going to be a dish that you're going to be making from time to time, especially if you love prawns. Enjoy.